Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss, and as you can see from my pencil shaving collection, I kind of do a lot of color pencil sharpening. <laughs> so I thought it was time to do a little video on how to sharpen color pencils. Let's talk about it. So one of my passions in art is collecting color pencils and coloring with color pencils. And when you do a lot of coloring and collecting of color pencils, you end up sharpening a lot of color pencils. So I have become a little bit of a collector of the act actual shavings. I think they're beautiful. I collect them and keep them in jars. I think it's so much fun to look at them. It kind of represents how much work and time I've put into this um, art hobby that I do. Um, but with all of this sharpening has come a lot of different sharpeners that I have tried and I have a lot of experience now with all these sharpeners. So let's talk about what I prefer and how I protect the lead of my pencils and get a nice sharp point every time I sharpen my pencils. So I have tried a lot of things. I mean, I've tried sandpapers, different types of sandpapers. I've even tried like callus removers to sharpen my pencils. I've tried your basic sharpeners that you've seen before. In fact, there are several really old videos here on this channel where I have reviewed like the Tagal and the Coombe and the Alvin Brass Bullet. So if you wanna go back and see those videos, you can. Um, I'm a fan of handheld sharpeners and that's the technique I'm going to be teaching you here in just a minute how to use these to sharpen your pencils. I really like the control I get and I like the shavings I get but primarily it's the control. I like being able to take off a certain amount of wood and come to a really nice point with my uh, pencil. So I'm a fan of this type of sharpener. You can get the ones that just are the exposed blades like these or you can get the type that actually collects and grabs the the shavings as they come off. These are great for portability, throwing in a, a coloring bag or a purse, and then it, you don't have to worry about uh, where am I going to put all of these shavings as they come off of the shave off of the pencil sharpener. Another type of sharpener that you're going to run into which is really handy are these types and these have a helix type cutting blade on them and they're fantastic. This particular one I call Carl because it says Carl Angel 5 on it and I put little um, eyes on it because he looks like he has ears. Carl is fantastic for sharpening a whole bunch of pencils all in a row really quick but he's very aggressive. So if I take out his little um, shaving collector and if you look up inside there you can see those helix blades right up in there so it sort of grinds the the wood away there you can see them working and it works really good but his little mouth right here that bites onto the um, pencils are a little aggressive it kind of leaves bite marks on my pencils so I I'd like to try a different type of helix sharpener someday to see if it's not quite as aggressive. The other thing I don't like about Carl is the kind of shavings he leaves behind. I, I don't want to collect these. They're just like dust basically and um, they're messy, really messy in the trash can. So that's just sort of a silly thing to worry about but when you collect the pencil shavings it is something to consider. <laughs> there are electric sharpeners as well and I kind of feel the same way about the electric sharpeners as I do about Carl. I can't control the amount of wood that is coming off of the pencil and um, how aggressive they are. And so they're not my favorite to use. But when you have a whole bunch of pencils that need to be sharpened all in a row, you can't beat how quick an electric sharpener and this type of sharpener is. They're just really great for that job. So that's why I have Carl around for that exact situation. But when I have just a normal coloring day and I'm working with my prism colors or my polychromos or any other kind of pencil that I feel like I need to take special care of, then my handheld sharpeners are the ones that come out. 
Now, there are special pencils that have special circumstances. For instance, these right here, the Creta Colors, are a mega color pencil and they are a bigger tool. So once in a while you do need a sharpener that is a little different. If you look at these ones here, pull out my notes from when I did my review. If you look here, these guys have a much bigger um, circumference, and so you need a bigger um, sharpener. So the actual Criticolor company has created a sharpener meant for that. So once in a while, there is a special circumstance where you need a special sharpener. But for the most part, uh, a sharpener like this one right here, this is the Coombe sharpener, and this is the one that I usually recommend most colorists pick up. It looks like this when you buy it. It's a two-hold sharpener and it has a nice big hole that actually those Creta colors will fit into and then it has a standard hole. And you get two blades um, on one sharpener. So, you know, nine times out of ten I'm using that small hole. But what you do get is two blades. So if this blade here that is preloaded into the small hole does get a little bit dull, all you need is a little screwdriver and you can switch out those blades and you've got a brand new blade and you're going again. And this little two-hold coom sharpener is actually pretty inexpensive and it's a fantastic little sharpener. The blades on this this guy, if you look at it, the blades say on it, made in Germany. And I have had such good luck. Let me see if I can get it in the light so you can see. Oh, almost. I've had such good luck with any pencil sharpeners where the blades are made in Germany. Whatever they're doing there in Germany with their blades, they have really figured out. You can see here how it says Coombe made in Germany. They've really figured out how to make a good pencil sharpener sharpening blade. I just love any good German blade. Now this one right here is another one of my favorites. This is the Alvin Brass Bullet. It's really a heavy little guy, which I kind of like. It feels good in the hand. And it's circular, so it feels really good when you twirl it around the pencil. And it also has a German blade, and I think that's why it works so well. I've had this guy for several years now and never once had to replace that blade. Blade. We're going to talk about blade maintenance here in just a minute, how to keep that blade nice and sharp because that's really important. Another one that I am currently testing is this one right here. This one's by Prismacolor. And let's take a peek and see inside if it has German blades. The Prismacolor sharpener here I like because it has a vessel to catch the shavings. So I can carry this around the house or, like I said before, throw it in my purse and take it with me. It has a little flip top lid and two holes. And the two holes do two different angled sharpens, sharpenings. <laughs> So if you want a really long point, you can use this hole here, or a, a more stubby point, you would use this hole here. So two different um, situations, and you can kind of play around with that and see which one you prefer. I like that. The thing I don't like about this guy is that his lid here is a little hard to get off. There we go, got it. I like my tools to be really simple and quick to use, and so if there's anything a little odd like that, it, it makes me frustrated. But if we look in here and look at the blades, sure enough, it says made in Germany on those blades, and I have noticed that this has been working really well. Very sharp, quick to come to a point with those pencils that I've been putting into them. So, so far, this one has been really good, and again, I think it's because those blades are made in Germany. So Coom makes several different varieties. This one has a cute, adorable little jar, but I gotta say, I've had a little bit of an issue. The actual Coom sharpener here that sits in this little cradle here, the cradle itself is made of quite a wimpy little plastic and it's broken a couple times and I've had to re-glue it and um, fix it. So I love this little jar. Kind of reminds me of the jars I'm using over here to collect all my shavings in so I thought it would be perfect but 
that hasn't been ideal. There are other types of really fun little sharpeners that come in from Japan and um, they're more gimmicky, I guess is a good word, but they have their purposes like this one right here. Let me show it to you. This one here was really um, popular for a while. It's called the Tagal and it has different um, lengths or depths or amounts that it will shave off of your pencil. So that's kind of fun to play around with. I have had terrible luck with the Tagals. I think I own three of them and all three have broken on me. And um, I kind of know what I'm doing with pencil sharpeners by now, as you can tell by all the sharpening I've done, but I've had all three of mine break. So I don't know what's up with that. So um, I, I can't recommend the Tagal, um, but if you want to try something a little different, try the Tagal. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I have here in front of me. Let me teach you now how to sharpen a pencil. Okay, I have right here my Coom and my Alvin Brass Bullet, my two favorite handheld sharpeners. And I have a whole bunch of um, color pencils and these are getting used all the time. The best way to color with a color pencil is to have a sharp color pencil. That really sharp point will get down into the little um, nooks and crannies, the texture of the paper really well. They call it the tooth of the paper. So it's actually more advantageous to sharpen your pencil and keep it sharp than it is to wear it down to a little um, nub. <laughs> so um, here is one right here that is in desperate need of a good sharpening right here. So we're going to do it. In fact, this one's got a lot of bite marks on it. You can see from me sharpening it with the curl over there. That's those bite marks I was talking about. So one of the things about a Prismacolor Premier Pencil is that a lot of people complain about the tips and breaking on them or that they have broken pencils a lot. And the Prismacolor Premier is a very creamy, very soft cord pencil. So you do have to be very careful how you care for your pencils. All color pencils need a lot of care. You don't want to drop your color pencils. So I keep my color pencils very secure. If they're not in the case, then sometimes I have a tray next to me where I keep my pencils so I don't accidentally bump them and they roll onto the floor. My expensive, nicer pencils, I don't usually let my little nieces and nephews color with because I don't want them to fall and get broken. Okay, so let's go ahead and sharpen this poor little jasmine pencil. It really needs it. Let's use the Coom and see how it does, see how sharp this is. Like I said, I've had this little guy for a really long time, so we'll see if the actual sharpener needs a little maintenance or not. So what you want to do when you sharpen a color pencil is you want to hold the pencil still and move the sharpener around the pencil. If you forget that little trick, remember how now, when you use an electric sharpener or like the Carl, um, the whole concept here when you use these types of pencil sharpener is that you put the pencil in and the pencil stays still and then you start cranking. So the blades are moving around the pencil and the pencil stays still. That's the whole point here and also in an electric sharpener, right? So we're going to kind of recreate that same experience for the pencil only with the handheld sharpener. So I'm going to hold my pencil still and move Move that sharpener around. So you can either do this by holding the pencil in your left hand and move the pencil, shar the pencil sharpener with your right hand or do it like I'm doing. Hold the pencil with your right hand and move the sharpener with your left. It's up to you. And what we're looking for is nice long curls. That's a good sign that your blade is still sharp and that it's performing the way um, you want it to. Now sometimes the wood that they use to make pencils is not the best and it will come off in weird almost shaving type um, ways. And so it's not the fault of the pencil sharpener, that's more the fault of the wood that they use to manufacture. Okay, so that comb did a fantastic job. We came to a nice point 
um, the pencil is protected. Um, look at our nice long curl that we got. So that's a good sign that our comb is still nice and sharp. It doesn't need maintenance, doesn't need to be replaced or changed. It's performing exactly the way that it is intended. So let's sharpen another one using the Alvin Brass Bullet and see how that one is doing. I've got lots in here that need sharpening. I've been doing a lot of coloring with my Prismacolors lately. Let's sharpen this white one here and we'll use the Alvin Brass Bullet. Same trick, pencil in, hold it steady and rotate around. Okay, now this one is acting a little bit differently. You can see the, the the shavings coming off are kind of in little chunks and not in nice long curls. So that's telling me that either one, the wood is kind of funky, or two, we have a blade that is not sharp any longer. I Like I said earlier, this guy has been in my stash for a really long time. Now we were still able to get a nice sharp point, but the wood does look a little chewed up. So I'm guessing our problem is that the blade needs a little love and attention. So the way we take care of a blade that's getting a little dull is we need to clean it up. Okay, so it's two things could need here. We might need to get a new blade or we just need to do a little maintenance. And the way we maintain a blade is with a graphite pencil. Now graphite is a really great um, trick for cleaning out a blade. Both the helix type blades, the electric sharpeners, these sharpeners, and the handheld sharpeners. All of them need a little maintenance from time to time and a little graphite is the trick. So use just a standard number two pencil, whatever you've got handy, and we'll um, send it through our sharpener. And what that does is it cleans, that graphite on there is actually going to clean the blade really good and get all the wax off of there and hopefully make it so that the next pencil that goes through will have a better experience. So I usually just really push it through. And then if it still has issues, then that usually means it's time for a new blade. Okay. So I usually take this much care with sharpening even my Crayolas because I even want my inexpensive pencils to be taken care of. Let's sharpen this guy way down here. He really needs it. This little yellow pencil here really needs some sharpening. So let's see if that little graphite trick helped our little Alvin Brass Bullet or are we going to need to buy a new blade for him? You can usually buy replacement blades for some of these. Look how much better it's doing. Yeah, we're getting a curl now. So that really helped that Alvin Brass Bullet much better. Okay, almost to a nice sharp point here. Okay, there we go. Now if you have a pencil that is slightly off-centered, a handheld sharpener is perfect for that. You can sort of carve off just a little bit of the high area where the, the wood is really getting high on the tip. So that's another reason why I really like a handheld sharpener. All right, that's how to sharpen a color pencil. I hope you learned something. If you found value in this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and share it with someone else who needs to learn how to sharpen a color pencil. Thanks for joining me and comment below. Are you crazy like me? Do you save your pencil sharpening shavings? <laughs> I love them. I think they're so pretty. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye. Do you like this one? Do you like this one? Do you? Do you like that one? Hmm. Such a good girl. <laughs>